Tonight, a fence surrounds a low-income apartment complex in Portsmouth, and the people who live at the complex are outraged. Tonight, the NAACP met with management at London Oaks. They want the fence taken down. Reporter Megan Perrier has the latest developments. David, residents aren't just upset about the fence. They say they're even angrier that their homes were ignored in this entire process. You say you put this fence up to protect us, but yet our inside of our community is not being protected. Sonia Williams lives in London Oaks Apartments, which is now wrapped tightly with fencing. Our problem with the gate is the same way you got funding for that. Why didn't you get funding for the necessities that we really need inside of our units? Williams says the Portsmouth housing unit is breaking down on the inside and money for the fence could have been allocated toward true needs. At least 70% of the households have mold and, and mildew issues to the point where it's airborne. We have some women who haven't had air conditioner the whole summer and the only thing that they can tell us is we get into it. It's prison. It reminds us it's an eight foot fence. It's unprecedented. President of the Wardsmith NAACP James Boyd explains what the fence surrounding the apartments really means. And the imagery of it is terrible and it speaks to resources being kept out not resources coming in. Monday, management spoke with residents and community members about the fence. The first thing that she said when she came to, in the meeting was the fence is not going anywhere. And why they built it. The, the main thing was crime. And then she get, we, we got the other uh, uh, answer of it's aesthetically pleasing. In August, Boyd wrote a letter on behalf of the residents asking for management to stop building the fence. Just a month later, it stands tall, surrounding all 296 units and the residents. Got a loan to do these gates. Why get yeah. no loan to do what's inside of the unit? Like Resident Sierra Whitehead questions the decision each day. It took, all, it took all the like regular said, lights out to order LED lights when they didn't have enough money to fund for the LED they, lights. My bathroom light went out for three months. My son almost got electrocuted because I had a lamp. A lamp in the, the bathroom. bathroom. Like, Boyd says there's now literally and figuratively a barrier for the Portsmouth community. Not only a barrier in terms of physical, it's a barrier in terms of psychological resources. Um, uh, things that the community could come in to help people that are suffering. This image is bad. Neighbors I spoke with out in the community today say they plan to unite and make a committee to fight back against the decision. Live in the studio, I'm Megan Prayer, 13 News Now.